Hello everyone, Mira here with another quick video before we dive into level design for beginners series. Of course, this video is part of it, but I'm kind of assuming that most of you won't need this video actually. So what uh, I'm going to cover in this video is um, what engine version I'm using and how to download content examples project from the learn tab of Epix uh, launcher. So first of all, uh, there is uh, one too many tutorials on how to get the engine, so I'm going to skip that and uh, go straight into the launcher. If you haven't downloaded it already, just go to unrealengine.com, sign in, download, and you will have Epix launcher. Once you are there, uh, go to uh, Unreal Engine library and add engine version. I'm uh, using 419 for now, and I will move to 420 at some point. I'm staying in 419 because uh, some of the plugins that I'm using are not yet on 420. But once they, once they get updated, I will move to 420. So let's go to Learn tab quickly. There are so many good things here and uh, I'm going to be using these content examples. There are so many assets and examples here that is really, really worth downloading. And I want to reinvent the wheel when uh, I need something to show you guys a uh, specific engine feature, I will use uh, the level from content example. And you, you can find here animation, audio, blueprints, landscape, materials, physics, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Now, they are documented okay-ish, but you can uh, go in and uh, decompose blueprints, see how they work, uh, check the assets, but uh, look at my videos as a kind of guided tour to <laughs> the specific features, so yeah. Um, download this, just, uh, you will have to, it will say probably download or something on along those lines. Let's kind of see what is going to say. Let's, I do not have this specific. It's going to say create project. So you just, uh, it's going to look that way when you go into content examples. So I already created a project. That is why the icons is a bit different. So create a project, uh, it's probably going to open by itself, but if it doesn't go to the library, it's going to show up uh, in uh, my projects. And uh, also it's going to ask you uh, where you want to create it once you click on create project so pretty easily. Another thing uh, that you can really take uh, <laughs> from uh, Marketplace are free assets and uh, Epic has released a whole bunch of assets recently from Paragon and uh, you have uh, this really awesome environment that you can play around with and we're definitely going to give it a go later on in the course. Um, I'm going to make uh, sessions where I do level design and some of the assets that are going to be used are going to be from Epic since they are really good. They're also a bit heavy on um, your computer. You will need a decent PC to follow along with these assets because they are kind of AAA game assets. And uh, Soul Cave and uh, Soul City were released also recently. They're really good. If you don't have a really beefy uh, computer, you can use Infinity Blades assets. Uh, those are for a mobile game that uh, Epic released uh, quite a while ago, and they're really well optimized and will run basically on any computer that can run Unreal. You still need a decent PC, but most of the PCs will be able to run uh, this content. And there is an open uh, world demo collection with some uh, trees, rocks and grass and uh, it's pretty heavy on uh, computer. So that's kind of a quick introduction to assets that we have here on Marketplace. Of course, I will also get some assets uh, to build the levels from uh, various sources, from different websites. And yeah, this is kind of all that I wanted to cover in this video. So guys, go watch the first video of the series, next one in the playlist, and see you in that one.